very, very dark. Blue, black. Just like Kamashiach Yahweh Shai, the Lord and the Savior. Huh? Yeah, King David was black. Because he was a tribe of Judah. He was a, just like King Solomon of the tribe of Judah, right? So, get uh, Hebrews 7.14. Yeah. I saw a bust in King David before. There are certain rules that you It was all white people. Read this. This is where he came from. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our power sprang out of Judah. So Christ came out of the tribe of Judah. That's Jacob's fourth-born son. Okay? And that's who most of you so-called Negroes are. You are the tribe of Judah. You're the true ethnic and biblical Jews. How the Jews look, according to the Bible. Jeremiah 14, 2. See, this is the problem. We don't know who we are. I ask all our people, brother, in the orange shirt. I ask our people, what's your race? Everybody else can give a night. See, huh? Moors. Think we got that one in the 45, don't we? Yeah. yeah. We got we got Moors in the 45. We got 40 45 different identities. Who we are? What would you say your race is, brother? Huh? Human race. Human race. Think we got that one. But human human means monster, man. Human. When you look up the original meaning of human, it means monster. In the Black Law dictionaries and so forth. It means monsters. So they have, like I say, everybody been lied to, man. It's just, we just follow suit of whatever been told to us. We've been brain polluted. You ain't been brainwashed. Because to be washed, you're going to be speaking the truth. You're going to be speaking what's right. And tearing down the lies, man. You're going to know. You are a Hebrew Israelite. You are of the 12 tribes of Israel. You a Hebrew Israelite. That's your nationality. Because Mashiach got Shai coming back, man. When he come back, he ain't gonna want to hear all that. <laughs> Not when you're hearing what I'm telling you. Right. right. Straight up. You ever heard of uh, the tribe of Shabbat? Yeah, but we're not dealing with that. We're dealing with we're dealing with the what the, the word said. How do, how the Jews look? Jeremiah 14, 2. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gangster of language. What color are the Jews? They are black. We call out a real Jew. They are black. Are they white? They are black. They green. They are black. They yellow. They are black. Yeah, that's talking about us, y'all. <laughs> they are black, just like us. Isaiah 29 and 22. We the true Jews, man. We the chosen people of the Most High. He love us. I mean, nobody got no flavor like we do. The whole world operates under our vibration, man. Come on. If they tell me I'll go back to Africa, we go back to Africa, man, this place will be primitive. This place will fold, man, because all the money that we spend. I was at the uh, Taste of Soul. We were teaching out there on Christian King yesterday, man. All of us spending all that money, man. And the white man got all them, all them booths set up, man, making all this money off of us, man. That's all they do is they making money off of us. We commerce. Let's read this concerning the Jews, the real ethnic and biblical Jews, what the Most High said concerning them. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 22 Therefore thus saith the Most High Who redeemed Abraham Concerning the house of Jacob The house of Jacob You keep hearing, you keep hearing Jacob, Jacob, Jacob Because Jacob is the forefather Of the twelve tribes of Israel And that's who you are People, you are the Hebrew Israelites That's who we are Somebody asks you what's your race You say you are a Hebrew Israelite The chosen of the Most High He didn't give us no Religion. He gave us law, statute, commandments. Read. Jacob shall not now be ashamed. Jacob shall not be ashamed. Read. Neither shall his face now wax pale. Look at that. His face ain't gonna never turn white. <laughs> hey. He's gonna be a brown power, man. You know, he said, hey. No more White House. going to be the Black House forever and ever and ever. We got next, brothers. Whether you want it or not. You either got a choice to have the next or be next in line to get your head chopped off or be burnt on into the lake of fire. You got a choice to choose life or death, man. That's why we're here to warn you. Give me our Deuteronomy 6 and 4. We're here to warn you, man. 
Nobody else coming out here warning y'all, man, to let you know, man, we got a kingdom that's prepared for us. But you better read Deuteronomy, from Deuteronomy, backwards to Genesis, from Genesis to Deuteronomy. Read them books, man. That's the laws. So you'll know what's right from wrong in the eyes of the Most High. He got laws, statutes, and commandments that he gave us to follow. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh power of our fathers. Second, like Yahweh power is one power. And thou shalt love the Most High thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And and these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine mind. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou sliest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontless between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and on thy gates. And it shall be when the Most High thy power shall have brought thee into the land which he sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not. Right, so... It's still coming back to who we are and who the Most High is, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we're supposed to be writing these laws upon our mind, in our minds, man, so that we can be loved by the Most High. He's not going to love you if you don't keep what his law says, commandments, you know what I mean? You don't try and be righteous. They tell you you ain't under the law, but you under mercy and grace, man. Don't believe that hype. They're trying to keep you brain polluted, brain lied. <laughs> What? They say you're not under the law, but they take tithes and offerings. Yeah, they take tithes and offerings, right? And that's in the Old Testament. That's not in the New Testament. You know, they go to Haggai, Malachi. <laughs> well, they say what they say. Well, a man robbed God. <laughs> they say what they say. Well, a man robbed God, and they pass the plate. They believe in that one, right? Two or three times, right? They believe in that law. How you doing, brother? All right, shalom, brother. Good to see you again. Give me uh, Isaiah 45 and 18. Let's go through some nice characters and characteristics of the most high, man. Isaiah 45 and 18. So that's why when you understand, man, the beauty of the power that loves us, he said he loved Jacob. You know, he loved us. And that's beautiful. We just got to come back to what's prepared for us, man. The kingdom. The kingdom within us. You know? And the kingdom comes without observation. You can't say over here, over there. Nah. Because it's within you. You got to get yourself together so you can be in the kingdom. Read this. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. 18. For thus said the Most High that created heavens, the Most High, Hamashiach himself, that formed the earth and made it. He had established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am Yahweh, thy power, and there is none else. That's right. That's our power. He's one power, man. He's one power. Isaiah. 45 and 18. Give me 1 Kings 8 and 60. This is our power, man. He's one power, but he's the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob being the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, who you are as a Hebrew Israelite. Somebody asks you, what's your race? You tell them you a Hebrew Israelite. Not no color, black. You know, not, what, what are you? What's your, what's your nationality? Mexican? Yeah. You Issachar. Issachar. My question is how you get the line. From, from uh, Genesis 49th chapter, Which Deuteronomy the 33rd chapter. Where? Genesis the 49th chapter, and Deuteronomy the 33rd chapter plus. But the Genesis is about the place of Jacob over Manasseh, right? Over who? The place of Jacob over Manasseh. Two sons of uh, Joseph and Egypt. Manasseh and Ephraim. Yes. Yeah. He blessed, he blessed, he blessed Ephraim, even though Manasseh was. My question is, where is, or how can you come with the roots? But I, I can see here the root, the root of the 
uh, Issachar or descendants of Issachar is a Mexican or Judah is a black people. Uh, I just. But Torah never says nothing about the color. Yeah, it, it has, we don't. We not black people. That's not our identity. We Hebrew Israelites. No, no, no. Get get uh get get uh get Job thirty and thirty. Well, you you ain't been here. Well, let's see what it says. You said don't say black people. Let's see what it says in Job thirty and thirty. Job was Job was during the time of Genesis. He was around that time. Not his family, just his children. His 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 children got killed. Job thirty and thirty. What does it say? My skin is black upon me. What you talking about? It do say black. <laughs> okay. It do say black. It do say black. So now, I mean, I'm not, I'm not coming here to really entertain what you're dealing with. I'm coming here to deal with the most high. I, I'm mixed up because I, want I to told you where you can find the information at. Sure, sure. Give, him a, give him a flyer of Instacart. Wait. This, this one is, who is talking here? That's it's Joe. It's Joe. Yeah. Where is, what, what color is Joe? Read that. My skin is black upon me. You got skin? You got skin? Would you got a problem with somebody being black? You listen, listen, you got a problem with somebody being brown? You got somebody you got a problem with somebody got pigment and melanin? No. What do you mean you don't ask you a question? You got a problem with somebody got pigment and melanin? That's black? You got a problem with that, yes or no? Uh, you do, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, get the hell out of here. They ain't talking to you then. They ain't talking about you. You say you is, you a Mexican. You ain't no Issachar. If you got a problem with brown power, they, they, all, all the Mexicans I know, they talking about brown power. That ain't no damn white. You must got some Spaniard in you or something. They have a problem with what it says. It said, I am, my skin is black upon me. Yeah, That's what it said. But this joke talking, what's the root of joke? joke? What do you mean? What, what it got to do with it? What color is Samashiach Yahweh What color is Christ? Give me this. Give me this. What color is Christ? Don't fight. He's Christ. black, man. Don't fight. No, no. You got a problem with us being black? Yeah, Him, don't the don't Bible don't saying black. It said black, don't man. Don't no, no, no. Don't That's don't what it said. Job is not. Get, 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 look what color is this right here. Look, what color is that? What color is that? What color is this right here? What color is that right there? What color is that right there? Is it white? What color is it? What color is it? Dark. No, it ain't dark. What color is it? It's black. It's black. Sit, tell it, tell the truth. It's black, man. Get Song of Solomon 1 and 5. What are you talking about? Jesus was black. That was his mother. That's right. Everybody was black, man. Come on. You got a problem with it? Move on. Get on. You come Because we come from... And look, we come... We come for the that's one third of the twelve tribes of Israel. Brown. You can't accept it. That's on you. That's Read this. Look, this is him right here. Look, Song of Solomon, chapter one, verse five. I am black. What color he say he is? I am black. What color he Solomon say he is? I am black. What color is he in this picture? This is an ancient picture, man, of King Solomon. What he say? I am black, but comely. There he is. That's King Solomon right there, man. So I mean, that's what I'm trying. We're here to tell our people, man. That's the problem now. That We've been brain dirty, man. Makes the color of their skin. That's right. White. <laughs> you are black. You sure. come from black. That's, that's right. why your skin is brown. Oh, Gotta understand, man. man. Okay. To your mind. There it is, man. The Job white thirty. Man has Job lied thirteen and, and four. Yeah, yeah man. man has lied to your You've been mind. lied to. Job thirteen and four. Yeah. Read that, man, so you understand, because we've been, everybody been lied to. Read this. Job chapter 13, verse 4. But ye are forgers of lies. Yeah, they done lied to everybody. Read. Ye are all physicians of no value. That's why we don't know who we are, man. Get, get Psalms 83rd chapter. You gotta understand, man, our name of Israel has been taken out of existence. All these nations know they're the enemies and, and haters of the most high. You're going to name them. But you can't name them because you don't know the people in the book. They're biblical names. You see what I'm saying? Like, you, you don't say Mexican in the Bible. You don't say no. black man in the Bible. No, no, that, that, that way was but it said black just now for his identity, so we'd know who we are. Because every, everybody come from black. Give, give, give him one. Every, everybody come from black, man. Every, it, everything started with black. Right. With black. Every, from the beginning, it was darkness on the earth. Then the light came. You see what I'm saying? Then the light came. Yeah, it was black, man. Black, you look at black, that's why you look at a Mashiach Yahushai, the most high with hair, wool. Your lips are like his lips. Come on. Your nose is like his nose. See? You are black. Read this. Psalm chapter, 80, Psalm chapter 83. Keep not thou, O silent, O most high. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Most High. 
For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. You heard enemies, and they that hate the Most High have lifted up their head. That's pride. Lifted up their head in pride, man. Being prideful. Listen what he said. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They're taking crafty counsel against us, the people of Israel. This is what the nations have done. But they the enemies and haters are the most high. They ain't teach you this in church, man. Read. And consult against thy hidden one. That's why you don't know who you are. That's why you say, no, black, you can't, you can't relate to that because you this your God right here? This who you've been believing in? Huh? Yeah. Never believe in it. Yeah, okay. They, they have them said, them come and work. let us cut them He's off black. from being a nation. What they say? What these nations do? Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Hear that? That's Psalms 83rd chapter, verse 1 down. Come and let us what? Cut them off from being a nation. That's why you don't know who you are. <laughs> That's why you don't know who you are. They said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That what? That the name of Israel. That what? The name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's why you don't have a memory of who you are. Say that. That's it, man. Listen. For they have consulted together with one consent. One consent, man. Read. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate against the Most High. They're the enemies and haters of the Most High. You can't change this. If, they, if you can change it, they'd be changing it. Right. They will come up against what we're saying, according to the word of the Most High. They ain't going to challenge this. Read. Nobody. Read. The tabernacles of Edom. I was naming them. Who is that? The Edomites. These are nations that hate the Most High, and they're the enemies of the Most High. They hate them. The tabernacles of Edom. That's a biblical name for the Caucasian race. Whites. They're the Edomites. Their forefathers Esau. They come from us. Read. And the Ishmaelites. Ask any Arab. You see an Arab, you say, who's your forefather? He's going to tell you Ishmael. He's going to tell you Ishmael. You know that? Yeah. No. yeah. Arabs going to tell you that they forefather Ishmael. We don't know who we are. We don't know who our forefather is. If you come from Africa, we say we come from Africa. We don't know what tribe we come from. There are all kinds of tribes over there in Africa. Africana was yeah. a white man. That's right. There you go. It's Af a white man. Africana we was can't a white come from man. them. We can't come from them. He was a white man. So Ishmael represents the Arabs. These are enemies and, and haters of the Most High, according to the Bible. Read. Of Moab. Moab represents the Chinese. Read. The, and the Hagarines. Hagarines are Africans, so-called Africans. Read. Gabal. Gabal represent more of the tribes of Arab. All right. I know you got to go. Read. And Ammon. Ammon represent the Japanese. Come on. And Amalek. Amalek represent the Jewish people today. Amalek. Amalek. That's who they are in the Bible. Every nation have a biblical name, man. They derive from Shem, Ham, or Japheth. We don't come from Ham. Get that in the Zion of Ham Compact Bible. We don't come from Ham. We come from Shem. And they, the scholars know this. When you go into the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, because these churches up here telling you, come, we come from Ham. Tell you that in a minute, right? Y'all don't heard that. But listen to what it says. Ham is a progenitor of a dark race, but not us. And it's going to tell you that. So, we got to enlighten our people, man, to the truth. That's why you look at, okay, well, we prepared for those that believe in what they believe in, if they believe in the Bible, or even history, history, to enlighten you to know that a kingdom is prepared for you, man, for us. Who need to be saved, man? I look down here, man, it's my people down here. You know, they come down here and lollygag around here. They ain't coming down here all the time. Right. Got to get rid of some things. So they come down here and give you a few few, few goods, man. This is the most thing that we can give you, the spiritual knowledge of who you are. Right. 
bring you out of darkness into the marvelous light, man. Knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite. You're the chosen people of the Most High. You understand that? Not just a child of God, but you are the chosen people of the Most High. Look at that. <laughs> you, you see? Huh? That's right, man. You're going to get somewhere, all right. We got the kingdom that's coming to us, man. You're going to get that. Is he's preparing for you to, to bring us out of these conditions that we in, man. All right. Don't that sound good? That's right, but we're going to rule over everybody. Just like they ruled over us, put us in the ghettos and slums, they're going to be working for us, man. We're going to have rest. Ain't going to be no more tears. When they say no more crying, no more sadness. But joy, and we're going to rejoice, man. But you got to get yourself together. You got to repent and come back to the law, statute, commandments of the Most High. Do what's right. Start reading Genesis to, to Deuteronomy. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't got to follow the Most High. They, they said you set up to go to hell, man. Let me show you that. Read this. Ham in his Underman Compact Bible Dictionary. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. Hey. Hear that? You heard that we from Ham, right? You heard that before, right? Yeah, we're not from Ham. We're from Shem. See, Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. We don't come from Ham. Ham comes, Ham is going to show you who Ham represents. This is not us, because it just said, not the Negroes. So let's see who he represents. But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Yeah, Libyans are North Africans, Canaanites are South Africans. We don't, that's not us, man. We're not all Ethiopians. Every time I see Ethiopian or African, I tell him to come forth, and he'll say, he's not a Negro. I'll tell you in a minute. I just ask him. Say, I'm black man. You black man. That's how you get him. Say, I'm a black man. You black man. Oh, I'm black man. I'm a black man. Say, I'm a Negro. You Negro. Say, no Negro. They don't want to be us. Read it again, huh? Him. Oh, not the Negroes. Not the Negroes. You see? Don't let nobody tell you any different. This is what they know. The scholars know this. We just don't know it because you want to keep stuff from us. Where you put it at? Ain't no book. Ain't nobody running around here with no books. Running around here reading, sitting down reading. But y'all do do some studying. I know that. I give you give you credit. Y'all find some time to read down here because I, I I get a lot of information. Like like it was just it was just saying, man. Coming up, bringing the truth, man, about. Uh, who was that? Leo Sifrius Avocados. A white man, you see? That's real. They, they telling you. You know, people down here know, man. This ain't going out, boy. When he come, when he come, man, he gonna scoop us up, man. If you ain't doing all this wickedness that's down here, you keep yourself, everybody ain't doing wickedness down here, man. Some people just, you know, went through a change. I mean, you can, you can.